Hello, everyone. Thanks for joining us this morning and welcome to this educational presentation. Now, today I want to talk to you about how to trade pullbacks in volatile markets. Pullback trading is a very popular as well as consistent way to trade the markets. I would venture to say that more than half of all traders have traded or are either now trading or have traded in the past some type of pullback strategy. But there's still a lot of traders who are not familiar with what pullback trading is. So before we begin today's presentation, let's go into a brief definition of what pullbacks actually are. Here's the standard definition. In an overall uptrend, a pullback is either a large, a moderate, or a shallow sell-off. That's all it is. So as we look at this older chart here in letter A, we see that obviously starting from this point on, we're in an overall uptrend. And the pullbacks are simply the sell-offs along the way, as we see here. Okay. Now, conversely, what if we have a downtrend? Well, the same thing applies. We just reverse the rules. In an overall downtrend, a pullback is either a large, a moderate, or a shallow rally, just a little bounce. So as we see here, looking back in hindsight, in Urban Outfitters, we are obviously in an overall downtrend. Now, the pullback is simply a bounce or a rally, as we have here, here, even these small little ones, and then a moderate one right here. So the trick is when we have the sell-offs, that's where you want to have a high probability setup to buy because you'll be buying at a lower level. And obviously in an overall downtrend, the trick is to be able to find something where you can sell at the highs of those little bounces or rallies. But this is the question that most traders ask, well, is there a strategy specifically designed to identify these high probability pullback setups? Well, in fact, there is. And that's what we're going to be talking about today in today's educational presentation. Now, all the slides you're going to be seeing today are going to be of current examples using this particular method. And the examples come directly from our platform, the PTS Primo charting platform that actually identifies these pullback strategy setups for you. So welcome to this educational presentation. My name is Stephen Primo. I'm the president and founder of Specialist Trading. I teamed up with Pro Trader Strategies with one concept, with one philosophy and goal in mind, and that was simply to educate traders around the world. That's why we're a little bit different from other webinars and that our only purpose is simply to educate. And you'll see that in today's educational presentation. Now, we're going to be talking about pullbacks today. And remember, pullbacks are another way of trading. Most traders have traded pullbacks in the, in the past. The trouble is, with pullback trading, we never know when a pullback is going to begin or whether the trend is going to resume in that direction. Now, when I first started trading pullbacks some years ago, I've been trading now for 44 years. I started my career on the floor of the Pacific Stock Exchange. I actually liked to trade the opposite of pullbacks, which is more of a breakout trade. But as I got a little bit more skilled and a little bit more accustomed and, and uh, actually more refined trader, I found out that I really am more suited for pullback trading. I like to buy at lower prices and I like to go short or sell at higher prices. So this is what we're going to be talking about today. Hopefully we'll be able to educate you and to turn your pullback trading around. Now, before we begin, as always, we are first required to share this with you. So please take a moment to view our disclaimer. I'm going to show you a lot of performance results and some very current examples using this particular pullback method. But please remember that we can in no way guarantee that any of the results I'm about to share with you will be repeated in the future. Also, all the examples I'm going to be sharing with you are strictly for educational purposes only. Now, another way to get education from us on a daily basis is to follow us on Twitter. There's our handle right there. You may want to copy that down. I post different information on a daily basis, uh, anywhere from little bits of financial wisdom to uh, actual signals that our strategies have generated. So lots of great free information. Please feel free to follow us on Twitter. Now, before we begin, once again, uh, I want to just make sure that everyone can see and hear everything clearly. Remember, we sent out a little uh, chat reminder to disable all your cameras and all your microphones. But I see one person is having difficulty time uh, hearing. Uh, so if, if you can hear me, just simply go to the chat box and type in yes or no. Uh, if, if most of you are able to hear me, then it's just simply this one listener's uh, own computer. OK, so uh, simply just go to the chat box, type in yes or no if you're able to hear and see me 
clearly. And we'll pause just for a few seconds and then we'll get back to you. Okay, we are back. It looks like the majority of you are able to hear me. So for all intents and purposes, uh, it's this one uh, attendee's own computer system. So I would recommend just logging off onto the Zoom platform and then logging back in. But please remember, once you log back in, to disable your camera and to disable your microphone, okay? So thank you for responding. If you can hear me, remember my goal as an educator is not to force feed you signals, is not to tell you what the market's going to do. I have no idea what the market's going to do. Our philosophy is simply to follow the market and trade in any direction it wants to go. We're not the type of educators that predict how high something will go or how low something will go or if something's topping out or bottoming out. In fact, frankly, I don't believe in that way of trading because uh, that's more of a gambling type of attitude where you're saying, well, this team's going to win. Well, this team's going to lose or this horse is going to uh, you know, come in last. That's a, a more akin to gambling. What real traders do is they say, listen, I take myself out of the equation and I've learned how to listen to the market and whatever the market wants to do, that's what I will do. So once again, before we begin, if you're starting with us, remember, we're going to uh, take questions at the very end of class. If you have a question, please wait till the very end, disable all cameras, disable all microphones. And lastly, uh, someone asked, is this going to be recorded? Because uh, they may be having difficulty seeing or hearing. Yes, it is. We record all of our webinars. So if you're having difficulty, don't worry. Each and every one of you will be sent a link to this recording. All right, so let's talk about pullbacks, okay? Let's go into a standard entry. This is just a generic example for people who aren't really familiar with what pullback trading is. As we look at this, the first stage in any pullback is that you want to see some type of trend or the beginning of a trend, all right? In this example, it's up, but it could easily be down. So you want to see the trend starting. And then as with all trends, it doesn't matter if you're looking at a five-minute chart of the E-mini, a weekly chart of a stock, or a four hour chart of the Euro dollar. Makes no difference, but all trends will have these kind of fits and starts, these sell-offs, these rallies. And so with an uptrend, you'll start to see these sell-offs, okay? Now, is this the beginning of a downtrend or is it just a pullback? Well, according to the rules and requirements of our particular method, we can discern that this is actually a pullback. So our method will generate a buy signal at a particular level, a particular spot, all right, along with the money management, along with several different types of entries that you wanna enter, along with se several different types of exits as well. But pullback entries are meant to buy at these lower sell-offs where everyone else is getting out and that's where you get back in, okay? So that's the actual definition and <laughs> looking at it in uh, you know block form of what a pullback should look like. The only trouble is this level right here, how do we know it's going to stop at these levels or how do we know it's going to continue going lower? Okay, well, that's the beauty of this particular method because most traders will say, well, Steve, I'm not sure when to get in and if it's going to be the beginning of a downtrend or a pullback. So is there a strategy specifically designed to identify these high probability pullback entries? And yes, there is. This is what we're going to be talking about today. This is strategy number nine one of our most consistent as well as popular pullback methods. Let's give you some of the highlights of this particular method, okay? It's designed to buy low in overall uptrends and to sell high in overall downtrends. Now it's a proprietary indicator-based method. So in, in other words, the signals are generated by applying these proprietary indicators. We're not looking at patterns, we're not looking at support and resistance, we're not looking at Fibonacci retracements, it's simply based off two proprietary indicators. Here's the beauty of strategy number nine. You can apply it to any market, any time frame, and any direction. So it doesn't matter, like I said, if you like to trade five-minute charts of the E-mini or weekly charts of Bitcoin, it makes no difference. It will generate signals in all markets, in all time frames, and in all directions. Now, because you are specifically identifying high probability areas to buy at lower prices and to sell to go short at higher prices, this makes it ideal for option timing. Because as we all know, I mean, I'm not an option trader and we don't really tell people uh, how to trade, in other words, which vehicle to use. You, it's your decision as to what you want to apply in order to get in and out of the trade. 
But we all know with option traders, the traders out there that the premiums can be very expensive when the stock or the future, whatever you have the option on is going in your direction. But if we have a sell-off or price is going down, that's going to bring down the price and the premium of the particular options you're looking at. So this makes it ideal for option timing. But with all our methods, we ask you to please uh, paper trade first. Do not just simply go out. If you be, be, decide to become a student of mine, do not simply go out and start trading tomorrow. You have to paper trade. There's so much more you can learn from this process. In any endeavor, in any hobby, there's always a practice session. There's always a rehearsal. It's no different with trading. Our edge here is consistency. Now, I know a lot of you think consistency means, well, wow, okay, that means that this never loses. We're always going to make money with this strategy. No, that's not true. What this means is that you will have losses from time to time, but a consistent method is one that's able to recoup those losses, okay? That's what consistency is. Two step forward, one step back. Okay, now we can't go into the rules. It wouldn't be fair to all of our members around the world who actually do have strategy number nine, but here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna just simply give you some of the concepts behind this. Remember, it employs two simple indicators and their relationship to one another and to the price automatically produces the signals. So therefore, their relationship in an overall uptrend will produce buy signals. They'll be generated during the decline. And in an overall downtrend, the sell signals will be generated during a rally. Okay, so let's look at the trading process. Let's look at some older charts just so that you fully understand the process behind this particular method. Remember those charts we looked at at the very beginning of the presentation? Okay, here's letter A. Remember, the overall trend was up. So how could we have bought at these sell-offs, okay? Right here, here, and here. Well, we teach you what to look for. This is not a black box. Remember, we're an educational company, so we're actually teaching you what to look for in the class. But in order to check your work, what you have to do simply on our platform is simply to click on strategy number nine in the green strategy tab here. And in the drop down menu, you'll see signal arrows, indicator, indicator setting, scanner, click on signal arrows. And that's how you check your work to see if you're identifying these signals properly. And as we can see, look how these signals were generated right at the lows of these sell offs, giving you a nice high probability edge here, right at the lows here, the lows here, just before the low here, but then again at the lows here. This is why we say it makes it ideal for traders looking to buy at lower prices. Now, what about selling? Remember that example in Urban Outfitters, okay? Obviously, we're in an overall downtrend, but how could we have known that in advance? It's easy to see we're in a downtrend in hindsight, but how could we have sold at these upper levels here prior to that? Well, click on strategy number nine in the green strategy tab. In the drop down menu, click on signal arrows to check your work. Because remember, you know the rules, you know what to look for. Here's how to see if you're identifying them properly. And look at all the confluence of signals right here at the very top of this pullback. Where most traders would have thought, hey, we bottomed out, time to get long, this is gonna make you highs. Strategy number nine was screaming to sell and look what happened. Then another pullback here, okay? Right at the very high, sell here. And then two more right here. So you see, the consistency of this method. And you see how well it can really help you. If you like to buy low and sell high in overall trends, this is a perfect method for that particular style. Now, let's look at some recent strategy number nine examples. These were all roughly done, I believe, in the last month. So I know I've often said this before, but I attend webinars myself whenever they have these big conferences. I like to see what's going on online with different speakers and different educators. And so many times, I, mean, I just don't understand it. They'll show examples that are look great and they, they pick the bottom and they pick the top. And then you look at it and it's back to 2019. You know, it's like two years ago or maybe even six months ago. That's not satisfactory to me. I like to show things that happened within the last month, some within the last week, just to show you that these really work. You know, it's easy for me. I could go back five years and pick something that made 100% all the time or pick, cherry pick the best. But you have to make sure that it happened last month because that's where students want to get in. You know, they want to make sure that it's working currently. So I'm going to show you a lot of the examples. And most of these, I believe, are from last month. OK, let me just uh, switch over to a new share here. And we're going to look at some actual 
current charts on the platform, okay? Here's a chart in Marriott, all right? Obviously, we had a small little sell-off here before it started to take off, all right? So how could strategy nine have helped us? Well, if we go on our tab here, click on strategy number nine, click on signal arrows, and guess what? Right at the bottom of that three bar sell-off, it generated a buy signal. So that's a quick 10 points in a couple of weeks that you could have taken advantage of. This was on the 20th of October, just a few weeks ago. How about Starbucks, okay? Let's look at this example here in Starbucks. As we see, we're kind of going sideways here. Oh, actually we've kind of gone a little bit into the future. Let me just see where this is. Looking back, if I can reframe the chart. There we go, okay? Look how we had this nice little bounce. I'll make it a little smaller. We had a really nice little bounce here. And then look what happened, a real big sell-off. If we come up here, click on signal arrows, we see that well in advance, we had a sell signal right here. Now I know a lot of you would say, well, yes, yeah, Steve, I would have sold, but look what happened after that. It kept going higher. Well, that's true. But on our platform, here's all you have to do to decide where you want to place your stop. We generate, upwards of six or seven different stop methods for you to choose one. Here's just one, and it's automatically uh, displayed on our platform. You just simply double click on the signal arrow, click on stop placement, and you would have seen that here's one stop. Now, if you were a conservative trader and didn't like to take a lot of risk, you would have sold here and most likely lost maybe a couple of points. But if you're more aggressive, you would have said, you know what, I'll place my stop back here. More aggressive, I can take off more risk. And looking at that, applying you see, we would have never reached that level. and You would have stayed short and ultimately been able to make upwards of 10 points, okay? So this is another advantage of using our platform. Let's look at OCGM. Here's a buy signal generated just the uh, last week or so, okay? Buy signal right at the bottom of that shallow sell-off before OCGM took off and uh, gained, I believe, about five points, but that was about 60% in just a couple of days or a couple of weeks, I should say. Let's look at FISV. Once again, we have a little cluster of three sell-offs right here. You may have gotten stopped out in this, but you could have gotten right back in. And as we see, FISV had a nice 15-point sell-off to the downside. How about SGEN, okay? Once again, we have a nice little sell-off right here. Look at the two buy signals right at the very bottom before SGN went straight up. And that was a nice 18 point gain in roughly about three weeks. BIIB, Biogen, here's the sell signal right at the little bounce here, a three bar bounce. And look what happened. Coming all the way back down here. And uh, if you're trading BIIB, that's a nice little uh, about 25, 28 point sell off. LCID, okay, here's one, a little three, bar sell-off, three or four bar sell-off, the buy signal generator right here on the 22nd, and look what happened in four days, okay? Uh, LCID, that gained like around 20 points in just about four days. Here's Facebook, all right? Let's go back in time here on Facebook. This was roughly a cluster of sell signals on the 20th, 18th, 19th, and 20th here of last month, and look what happened after that. I'm sure some news came out that caused this to gap down, but Facebook dropped 30 points in about four days, okay? Let's go forward here, MTCH, here's a good one. Here's a nice little sell-off, about a week, right at the very bottom, look what happened. It took a little while for this one to take off, but MTCH ultimately went up and gained roughly about 25 points. Here's a nice one where we have actually a nice, I believe it's a double sell. Let me see here. Okay, there's a signal being generated today, but let's look at this one. Generated right at the top of that bounce, roughly about 121, and went down to 116, a nice five points in about a week. As we look at DXCM, look at this. Two sell off, two bar sell offs right on the 18th of October, and here it is coming into today. Had you taken that in DXCM, we have a nice, I believe about 80 points in roughly about two weeks. <clears throat> Here's an example in PayPal. 
Look at the two signals generated to go short in PayPal. You could have taken either one. And then PayPal coming in the last or second week and then coming into the first week of November fell a good 30, 35 points. Team, okay? Another example, three bar sell-off. Buy right at the bottom. And this took a little longer. It had its merry way taking it step-by-step step up there. But ultimately, team went up a good, I would say, 100 points off this. You could have purchased it down here at 380. It went up to 485. ISRG. Here was a good example right here. ISRG. A sell-off right on this two, three-day bounce. And look what happened. You got a nice sell-off right there in three days, roughly from 340 all the way down to 320, a good 20 points. And lastly, Tesla, okay? Here's a current chart of Tesla. Now, obviously looking in hindsight, see this little three-day sell-off? Wouldn't you love to buy somewhere around here before it went off? And then there was another sell-off, like a one-day sell-off before it started to go up. All you have to do is click on strategy number nine, click on signal arrows, and look where the buy signals were, right at the bottom there, and another one right at the bottom here. So you see how consistent this is, how you see how it could really help you. And as we go back to our platform, remember, everything you saw was generated with one click using the PTS Primo charting platform, okay? But please remember that these were just for educational purposes only. We in no way were able to guarantee that any of the results going forward with strategy number nine or any market would be able to repeat those performance results. All examples are strictly for educational purposes only. All right, let's review what we went over. A pullback is either a large, a moderate, or a shallow sell-off in an overall uptrend, or a large, moderate, or shallow rally in an overall downtrend. The trick is you want to be able to buy those shallow sell-offs in the overall uptrend. You want to be able to identify and pick them and pick a spot where to buy. Or in a overall downtrend, you want to pick a large, a moderate, or a shallow rally to sell. These are the high probability, low hanging fruit areas. Remember, strategy number nine specifically designed to do this. It's a proprietary indicator-based method that can be applied to any market, any time frame, and any direction. If you're an option trader, this is an ideal method to trade with option trading. Remember that last example I shared with you in Tesla? You could have bought at those lower sell-offs and got the uh, options or even purchased the stock if you want. Please, if you decide to come in, a student of mine, in strategy number nine, please, it is required. It's not suggested. It's required that you paper trade because there's so much more you will learn from that process. Our edge here is consistency. Remember, not every trade is going to work out. I showed you a couple of them where if you took the very conservative stop, you would have most likely had a small loss. If you took the more aggressive, you would have done okay. But over time, consistency means a two-step forward, one-step back approach. So seeing the examples we just talked about, ask yourself, do you think this pullback strategy can help your trading for the remainder of 2021. After all, there's only two months left in this year. Here's what we're gonna offer you today. We have a great discount for everyone taking time out of their Wednesday afternoon trading session to come listen to me speak and to tell you about a great pullback trading package. This is our next level pullback trading special. We're gonna offer you not only strategy number nine, the full detailed course instruction along with entries, exits, and stop placements, but we're also going to include a full year of the PTS Primo charting platform. That's a nearly $1,800 value that's included in this price. Now, one of the great things about the platform, uh, besides all the ease of use and being able to just see everything with one click, one of the great things is that you can also scan. So let's say you're not able to be in front of your chart 24-7 the way some other traders are. Well, you can simply scan on a nightly basis, whatever market you're interested in, tr in trading, and you can actually see what these setups are for the next day. Remember, we specifically designed the platform to make it simple. So this is the platform that really will help you identify and will scan for you these pullback setups. For example, let's say you had scanned last week, okay? Let's say you were a member of this course, you scanned last week, 
Most traders would look at this chart in FCEL, this is fuel cell energy. They would say, hey, Steve, you're a trend trader, right? You always say, stay away from downtrends. Don't buy in downtrends. And this is obviously in a downtrend. So I'm not gonna buy this, right? But if you took the strategy number nine course and studied all the rules and the requirements, you would have seen that this is not a downtrend. This is actually a pullback. Remember, pullbacks in an overall uptrend are high probability setups. These are where you wanna find these signals. Now, all you had to do was scan, and you would have seen that a buy signal was generated on the 25th, just last week, in fuel cell. And look what happened coming into this week, coming into yesterday. The price of the stock gained 30% in just one week. Now, think of that. This is a $7 stock that gained 30%. Imagine if you were along Tesla, gained 30% in one week, or you were along uh, Apple, gained 30% in one week. This is the beauty of using this. And remember, I, as I said, I go to webinars, I go to listen to other uh, teachers speak and, and you know, they show these great signals that happened two years ago or eight months ago. This just happened last week. So this is just showing you the consistency of this particular pullback method that we have for you. Now, a year from today, our students always tell us after they join too late, they will say, gosh, I wish I would have become a member of the strategy number nine course a year ago, you know, today, you know, they always see us a year later. But a year from today, you will have wished you became a member. Why wait any longer? I'm sure you're not seeing this type of results you promised yourself that you would see January 1st, 2021. 2022 is in two months. Turn your trading around, become a consistent trader, invest in yourself. The way to do that is by taking advantage of this great offer we have for you today. All right, let's break it down. This is our next level pullback trading special. Remember, you're going to get all the rules, all the entries and exits, stop placement, the entire course rules to strategy number nine, along with a full year of our platform, which includes the scanner. Here's the offer we have. Now, normally this would cost you close to $4,700 or $4,800, I should say. That's not even including the platform. But here's what we're going to do. We're not going to charge you anywhere near that. In fact, we're going to discount it down to $2,995 you're gonna save over $1,700. That's a 35% discount. And on top of that, along with getting a free year of the platform, if you still have difficulty coming up with $29.95, Pro Trader Strategies will offer you a payment plan. That means you don't even have to come up with $29.95. You can come up with a small deposit and you can still be up and running as soon as today, if you like. So we have a lot of ways to be able to become a course member. Here's how to take advantage of this, okay? Remember, contact Pro Trader Strategies. They're my sister site. They're in charge of all the uh, course pricing as well as the discounts. I would call them directly if you have any questions concerning pricing, if you'd like to set up a payment plan. They have trading consultants uh, answering the phones right now. Their number is 310-598-6677. There's absolutely no obligation. They're there to help you and to give you some type of a quote. So don't feel as if you're going to be sold in anything you're not sure about right now. They'll be more than happy to give you a quote and to talk to you and go over any of the uh, questions you may have about the platform. Now, that link you see at the very bottom will be the link that you would click on if you want to sign up directly or if you want to get more information on this package. But it's not a live link, but we just posted a live link on the chat box. So if you go to your chat box on the far right-hand corner, you'll see that there is a live link posted there. Just simply click that on and it will take you to the sign-up page, okay, online. Now, I promised I would reserve the last portion for any questions. I'll open up my chat box here. And I see that uh, this one uh, attendee still had difficulty hearing. I hope you all were able to hear, <laughs> but it seems like uh, this was the only person that wasn't able to hear. Uh, don't worry, as I stated, you're all going to be getting uh, links to this recording. So uh, so be it if the, if the uh, recording went through okay, you'll all be able to hear on the recording. Now, remember, just go to your uh, chat box, type in any question you have, and I would be more than happy to answer it. Uh, someone's asking, can this work on other markets? Yes, I'm sorry, I, I had a propensity because I wanted to show you those live charts of stocks. Uh, yes, you can apply it to uh, currency pairs. We have a lot of currency pair traders using this. We also have uh, commodity traders using this as well as futures traders and even Bitcoin traders. So it can be applied to any market and any time frame. Makes absolutely no difference. I purposely wanted to show you stocks because the majority of traders are in stocks right now. But uh, 
I, I actually use it myself in uh, intraday trading of the E-mini futures because you see these really nice bounces every once in a while. So it's really uh, uh, perfect for any market or time frame. Uh, another question, uh, does this replace strategy number four? Well, a good question, but strategy number four is not so much a pullback. Uh, strategy four is kind of a hybrid. Sometimes strategy four is a breakout strategy and other times it can be a pullback. So it's kind of a hybrid between both of them where, and it's a pattern recognition strategy. Strategy number four, will only generate its signals based off of patterns. So that's the difference between these two because strategy number nine is based on indicators and their relationship to one another and to the price, the current price. So it's entirely different requirements, entirely different format, okay? They're based on entirely different uh, benchmark rules. So the signals uh, will be uh, different at many times. I, if you like to buy at lower levels, Strategy number nine will, will generate those lower levels much better than strategy number four, okay? That's the only thing I can tell you from experience. I per, uh, you know, I, I'm trading strategy four as well, but uh, if I don't want to buy at a higher level, I will look for a strategy number nine setup because it will get me in at a much lower level. So they're entirely different, completely different course rules, completely different uh, ways uh, to enter and exit, okay? But that's a good, uh, it's a good, um, Question: When you ask, does it replace? It doesn't. Re there's no such thing as replace because everything fits a specific environment or style of trading. What a lot of traders do is they like to have strategy number four along with strategy number nine. So you have a uh, you know a pattern recognition strategy along with a pullback uh, and a uh, indicator based strategy. But that's a good question. They're both very very consistent and you know they often do not generate the same signals. Uh, someone's asking, let's see, uh, what is the lowest time frame you'd feel comfortable using this scalping or day trading in mind? Well, I personally, uh, have noticed with any strategy, and I've said this before, any strategy that you trade, it doesn't matter if it's one of mine or someone else's or something that you devise, the smaller the time frame you go, you will have these, you know, more and more instances of what we call noise. It's just, you know, it's just the way things are because, Oftentimes when the market goes into a quiet period, you get this noise where it's just back and forth, back and forth. It looks like a Richter scale. And that's with any method, they'll have difficulty in that particular environment. So I would recommend, you know, suggest, it's up to you, not going too small of a time frame, like, like I would say, like uh, tick charts. Uh, you know, I would stick with no smaller than maybe a 10 minute time frame in the beginning. And then you can experiment with that. But yes, I use them in intraday trading. I use them in 10 minute. And sometimes I'll go to even a five minute time frame. So it all depends. But remember, those are your decisions. We're not here to decide for you. As we stated in the beginning of the presentation, our goal as an educator is to teach you what works. Your goal is to you know, decide for yourself where you want to enter, decide for yourself where you want to place your stop and decide for yourself how you want to get out. Now, most traders will say, well, how do I know how to do that? I've been losing for so long, I don't have any idea. Well, the good news is we provide you with all that information, upwards of six or seven different entries, six or seven different exits, and six or seven different stop placements. So you can decide for yourself which one feels the best. You can paper trade, as we suggest, and you can then decide, well, this, this hasn't worked out well for me. I'm going to decide on this particular entry or this particular exit or this particular stop. So it's kind of a smorgasbord. You know, where you have, you know, a buffet table and you can choose what you like. Not everyone at a buffet table chooses the same entree. Not everyone at a buffet table chooses the same drink or the same dessert. But everyone gets what they want, what makes them feel comfortable in a meal. It's the same way with trading. No two traders should ever trade alike. You should never pick the same entree for trading. You should be able to decide how you want to enter, how you want to exit or place your stop. And we give you upwards of six to seven different uh, you know, variables for each one of those categories. Okay, hope that answers the question. Good questions. Uh, lastly, someone's asking, is the pet D epical uh, in strategy nine? Yeah, you can apply it, but it's, it's I mean, it's not required. Uh, uh, with most of our pullbacks, the pet D doesn't work that well because remember, the pet D is really fine-tuned. It's very sensitive. So if you're strictly going off the pet D, you may get a buy signal because stock has, has sold off for maybe four or five bars. But if you're relying on the pet D, the pet D most likely gonna color that bar red. 
So you may say to yourself, well, how can I take this? Because it, Steve says the red is for a, a short-term downtrend. Well, see, this is where strategy number nine rules may supersede that because for a pullback, you need to have these sh uh, you know, sharply down or shallow sell-offs. And in the shallow sell-offs, it won't make that big of a difference. But in the big ones, you may get confused by applying the PET D. So it's really not that applicable. Uh, uh, pullback trading does not really uh, apply the PET D because it, uh, pullback trading stretches the outer limits of a trend, okay? So it, it's a completely up to you, but I, I would not say it's required at all. Now, strategy number nine is fine on, on its own. You're more than welcome. Uh, lastly, someone is asking the most popular question I get every time, and what is uh, educational correspondence? Educational correspondence means that you'll each get my personal email address. So it won't go. Any question you have, you can ask me whenever you want in the middle of the night. You know, we have many students in Europe. They're asking me questions. Uh, I wake up uh, roughly about three o'clock uh, Pacific time, and I see there's I've got maybe 10 questions from my students. I'll answer them at that time, the quickest as I can. Often in the weekends, or many times they'll ask questions in the middle of the trading day. It's okay. Uh, but just remember, all questions come directly to me. They don't go to an intern. They don't go to an assistant. They come directly to me, and I answer them personally. So it's like getting your own personal mentor there. Even though I can't be with each and every one of you sitting alongside of you, at least you can email me and I'll get back to you as soon as possible, okay? Okay, any further questions before we uh, show you one last disclaimer? I guess not. I just want to say, remember, strategy number nine is great for traders who want to buy at lower levels or if you like to go short to sell at higher levels, it makes this ideal for option trading and option timing because the premiums will be a lot less. So if this fits your style, if this is what you'd like, if you want to take a lot of the risk out of your trading, here is a great method, okay? You'll learn all the rules. You'll learn exactly how to do it, but you'll also get a full year of the platform where you can just auto click on strategy num number nine, click on signal arrows, and it will generate those arrows for you. You can scan on a nightly basis. So this is a great way to take your trading up a notch. Take your trading uh, to the next level in 2022. Start out in the right direction with strategy number nine, okay? Now, as we take one last look at our disclaimer, I'd just like to thank you so much for attending today. I hope all of you were able to hear me. I know we had that one attendee that wasn't able to, but don't worry, each and every one of you will be sent a link to this recording. My only uh, suggestion is please do not wait too long after you've watched the recording. Many students wait about a week or two and they say, you know what, I keep on losing. I guess I'm gonna take advantage of that strategy number nine, uh, great deal they have. And guess what, it may be gone. This deal is most likely gonna be, gonna be anywhere from three to five days and that's it. So if you're serious about becoming a student of mine in the strategy number nine course, watch the video and decide and contact Pro Trader Strategies. They'll be more than happy to give you a quote, okay? I just want to say thank you so much. I hope you learned something today about pullback trading, but most especially, I hope I become your mentor in the strategy number nine course. Have a great day. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.